Hi, Ebel278. So this is going to be a really short video on Section 6, Capital A, which you have to know, that deals with the medical scheme fees tax credit. Now, before we go into the detail of this, the important thing to keep in mind is that a natural person will only be able to get this um, tax credit, in other words, an amount that reduces the normal tax liability, if they actually belong to a medical aid. So if we have a natural person that belongs to registered medical aid, in addition to the primary, secondary and tertiary rebates, which depends on their age, they will be able to qualify for the Section 6 capital A medical scheme fees tax credit. Um, and this is a fixed amount per month that depends on you know, the taxpayer and how many dependents are on the medical aid. So if we are calculating this rebate for the um, main member and there's no other members, we'll work on 310 Rand per month. The moment that we have one dependent that comes on, whether it be a spouse or a child, um, that goes up to 620 Rand per month, which effectively means 310 Rand for the taxpayer or the main member, 310 Rand for the first um, dependent. And then each additional dependent thereafter qualifies for 209 Rand per month. So just a few things I want you to notice. Firstly, this is per month. In other words, if we want to determine the Section 6A tax credit for a taxpayer, we are going to have to determine for how many months they were members of the medical aid, because that's going to determine how many months they will qualify for. So you need to be very careful when you work through a question to identify, you know, who's the main member and how many dependents um, does he or she have on the medical aid. The second thing to keep in mind is that these are fixed amounts, irrespective of the level of contribution of the taxpayer. So you can decide to contribute to a medical aid um, and contribute 10,000 Rand a month. You will still only be able to qualify in terms of this tax credit for these amounts. So example 1.5 in your student's approach to natural persons gives you Joseph, who's 35, and Rafilue, who's 34. They have one child and none of them have any disabilities. Joseph's taxable income for the current year of assessment is 250,000 and he belongs to a medical aid. The question is, how much is Joseph's net normal tax for the current year of assessment, assuming that he makes the full medical aid payment? In other words, he pays um, for the entire oh do you see that they haven't given us the um, medical aid payment but if you look at b um, it says three thousand rand so let's work on a payment of three thousand rand for joseph now just to get back to this because they ask us for the net normal tax liability remember we're dealing with a natural person he is 35 years old so younger than than 65 which means we are going to have to use the tax tables for natural persons and he will only be entitled to a primary rebate and because he contributes to a medical aid he will be entitled to the medical um, tax medical scheme tax credit in terms of section 6a so he is the taxpayer or the main member he's got the filler who's his first dependent and then they've got a daughter susan who is the second dependent so we're going to be using 620 plus 209 rand per month okay for the second part they say Calculate the amount that Rafulio can claim as a medical tax credit if the full medical aid payment is 3,000 Rand per month and she pays 1,000 Rand of the payment. Now, what that means is um, because, you know, both of these people, Joseph and Rafilue, contribute towards their medical aid, each of them will qualify for a portion of the Section 6A rebate. So we're going to have to do a little apportionment calculation, but you'll see very easy and it makes a lot of sense. Right, so if you look at the answer, and remember I said, let's assume we have a medical aid contribution of 3,000. Technically, we don't need that to calculate section 6A. Why? Because we are going to take our taxable income and we're going to calculate our normal tax on that. And then we are going to deduct our primary rebate. Because Joseph and his family belongs to a registered medical aid, they will, in terms of section 6A, qualify 
for the medical scheme fees tax credits. And because they are three, so main member plus one plus one, we will use 620 plus 209. And remember that these are monthly amounts, which means Joseph will qualify for a section 6A tax credit of 9,948. Take note. This amount does not reduce taxable income. We don't go near it. We don't take it anywhere near the 250,000 taxable income. It reduces our normal tax liability. If we have spouses, for example, that you know contribute to one medical aid scheme, so in B they say of the 3,000 rand refill where um, contributes 1,000, then she will qualify in terms of section 6A Similar to that calculation, we calculate the full amount, the 9948, because they are three, main member plus two, and then we will do an apportionment based on the total contributions and then what her contribution of that was. And then similarly, we will also have to um, apportion Joseph's medical tax, um, medical scheme tax credit, because he would have only, um, only contributed 2,000 rand. Right, and that concludes section 6A.